ticks, ticks, ticks. I have ticks. Did you hear it? Did you see it? I have ticks. Wait a minute. Why are all of you staring at me like I have bugs all over me? I'm not talking about the creepy insect ticks. I'm talking about t the ticks that cause involuntary movements or sounds when you have Tourette's syndrome. For instance, you might repeatedly blink your eyes, shrug your shoulders, or make unusual sounds. As I speak to you today, I don't want you to feel bad for me. I want to inform you on what my kids and adults are battling every single day. When I was younger, I always had some strange things I would do without even knowing it. I would blow out my nose like I had a big booger in it and I'd blink my eyes a lot. My parents and brothers would always tell me to stop and get a Kleenex. At the time, we didn't really think anything of it, except it was annoying people. When my mom took me to the doctor, the doctor said I had transient ticks that would come and go, and I would just grow out of it. This past year, my ticks have gotten worse. I began to clear my throat all the time, make clucking sounds with my tongue, blink uncontrollably, intensive and squeal in a high-pitched voice. My classmates began to look at me differently and were wondering what was wrong with me. Sometimes I would get to the point where I couldn't breathe and my body was so bad from the way I would tense up. I could tell by the look on my family's faces that they were worried about me. Around this time, I was in the middle of football season and it was affecting my game. I was moving my head so much in my helmet that my neck would just ache and I was blinking my eyes so much that I couldn't see my tacklers coming towards me. My coaches thought I was just scared of being hit, so they made me run. Usually I would take off running just fine, but one time was different. Halfway through the run, my tics became so uncontrollable I couldn't breathe and I stopped and bent over. Luckily, my mom was watching me and ran over to help me. She immediately rushed me to urgent care. I can't lie, I was really scared. When we arrived at urgent care, they rushed us in to see the doctor. The doctor could hear and see my tics. She refers us to a neurologist that specializes in tics. The doctor comforted me and said that I was going to be okay. She had, lots, she had lots of tests on me and said that there was nothing wrong with my brain and that since I had three or more ticks that include uncontrolled sounds and have lasted for more than a year, I had Tourette's syndrome. This would really scared me, but the doctors said that there was medicine that could help me lead a normal life. I would also have to go counseling to help me learn how to relax and control my ticks. But I knew I was on a path to a better future. After many appointments and time on the medication, I've been, able to, I've been able to control my tics. Taking time off of football season was hard, but I'm glad I did. This gave me time to figure out what was going on with me. The medicine made me sleepy at first and gave me stomach aches, but it ended up helping me in the end. Having a support of family and friends helped me get through this time in my life. Even with all these holders in my life, I've been able to keep my grades up and have a great sense of humor. Just remember, the next time you see a person moving in a strange way or making unusual sounds, it may be out of the control. Empathy goes a long way. Instead of staring and making them feel uncomfortable, I would like you to remember that empathy and acceptance goes a long way when it's a kid like me who wants to be normal.